So I think this is a great book to start out with when it comes to basic physics. I don't feel like it's overwhelming, but you definitely want your child like ready to go into motion and machines and heat and energy, inventions, technology, things like that. But this, I feel like was a really good way to start us off. it's great to have you here today I'm going to be sharing with you the physical world God's design by master books we actually did some of this already um, last year and we never got around to finishing it just because of the timing of our school year I just had to stop it but we are actually going to kind of start back with it my son definitely I think will enjoy it more being in seventh grade I think he will pick it up more and understand a lot whereas before when we did it he just didn't quite quite seem very interested or fully understanding the motion of things, the, the physics of things interacting with each other. I think now he understands things a lot better. So we're going to definitely start incorporating this into our science towards the middle to end of seventh grade. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope you subscribe. Make sure you like this video if it's helpful and click that bell for notifications. I appreciate all my subscribers, new and old. You all are so great and I love your feedback. Make sure you leave me a comment of what your children's ages are, grades they're in. I'd be super happy to hear from you. If you're on Instagram, make sure you check me out on there. And I do share basic, I do share what videos I'm uploading. So follow me on there as well. We're going to take a look inside the student guide and also the teacher guide today. I I think you'll find them really well done. Like with most Masterbooks products, I feel like they're very thorough. Their worksheets are really good. Their review sheets are good. So we're just going to take a look inside this and you can let me know in the comments what you think about it. I think it'll be super good for you to be able to see inside and kind of get the flow of this curriculum. So let's take a glance inside and see what you think. We're going to hop in the Physical World book. Before we do, just remember that some parts are highlighted because we already did start part of this book. So this is unit one, talking about mechanical forces here. And so as you can see, it dives into different parts about mechanical energy. There's some really good information in these lessons. I do feel like they don't overwhelm though. So I think that's good is that each lesson isn't a ton of reading. We're gonna look at the workbook next that kind of shows you how they incorporate these lessons. This is unit two. Being a little bit younger than he is now, I think my son really will actually enjoy this a little bit more now than he was originally. Some parts I think were a little bit above his understanding when I started it out before. Here we're getting into the laws of motion. Mass, and then we're going into circular or periodic motion. Centripetal force, that type of thing. And I like how they do this insert of different scientists and inventors which is kind of cool because they're adding in a little bit of history in there okay the use of machines in history in nature modern machines
So this book was a little bit um, damaged right here, but as you can see, they do have a glossary, which I think is really nice. That helps you to kind of understand certain words if you, you know, need that. Of course, some of that's damaged right there. Obviously in printing, it got kind of, paper got bent. Heat and energy, forms of energy. Now this starts like a whole nother unit because as you can see here, it's machines and motions. That's a separate unit. Heat and energy is a separate unit. And then inventions and technology is the last unit. Forms of energy here. Again, there was a little bit of damage on the paper here. into thermal energy and temperature, heat conduction, radiation, solar energy, and then going into unit three would be electricity, lightning, currents, voltage, power. If your child's into science a lot and doing any electrical or mechanical type sciences, I think this is a really good thing to incorporate into your school just because it covers so much. And so we haven't done um, this part yet. We only got up to 17 of this unit. So we will have to continue in this part I decided to add this into our year this year for school because I really wanted to finish this book. I felt like it's really a good thing to kind of add into our schooling right now. So far this year, we've done some unit studies with The Good and the Beautiful. I only did like three of them that really stood out to me for this year. And so I wanted to really get back to this book and add this in. Okay, here again is the glossary for this unit, which is pretty big. All right, and the last unit is inventions and technology. So it goes over the printing press, telegraph, telephone, radio, television, communicator, communication satellites, computer, and so on. So I like this. I think it's a really good way for us to see the progression of just technology and inventions. And I like that they incorporate the historical part of science in there. Of course, none of us know how far technology will go. So it's interesting to kind of see, even keeping this I think might be valuable because this may be ancient at one point, you know? So unit two is transportation, steam engine, train, combustion engine, automobile, jet engines, airplane, rocket engine, spacecraft, and drones. My son loves trains, so this will be a good one that he will enjoy for sure. My son also does hobby remote control planes, so the planes part will also be very interesting for him. He also did a Lego set of the space station, so I know he's gonna enjoy learning about that one. Here's historical weapons right here in unit three. Um, Gunpowder, tank, submarine, radar, sonar. modern conveniences. So this would be light, refrigeration, sewing machine, modern appliances and clocks. T 
talk with your students about how things have changed even within the past 20, 30, 40, 50 years um, because like my mother has a sewing machine that looks exactly like this one and it actually doesn't have the sewing machine part but it's the whole table that she has something like this and of course she has a regular sewing machine but just to kind of see it really wasn't that long ago that we didn't have some of these inventions or we had inventions that were very basic like the sundial how it's changed in such a quick period of time. Okay, and they're going into unit five as medical inventions, microscope, medical imaging, microsurgery. We're actually looking at getting an, a higher power microscope for our science here at home because the one I had gotten wasn't quite strong enough and my son loves to look at things through his microscope. So we are looking at getting him a new one at some point here soon. All right, and entertainment would be roller coasters, phonograph, moving pictures, and becoming an inventor in the conclusion here. So here in the back is the glossary for that unit and then the index. Here we have the teacher guide. Again, it's recommended for third through eighth grade. We did this more in like fifth and sixth grade. And I can say that third grade, although you could do a lot of things, like the, the concepts might be a little bit advanced for third and fourth grade, I would think it would definitely be more through fifth through eighth grade. So just my recommendation on that based off my student. Again, some of these pages were pulled out, just so you know. So this is the schedule. Again, you can see what I've already checked off. This is basically where we need to start back. This does come with quizzes. So there are some worksheets that we have not done. As you can see, some of it includes math in this book, which is why I would say it's closer to the seventh, eighth grade mark with a lot of the worksheets on um, the concepts or some of the activities might be a little bit more advanced. Okay, so this is an example of your day-to-day -day worksheet. And again, it connects with the day, the number and the title that's in the student book. You can see here, it does give you a list of supplies for a project if you wanna do it that day. And then it gives you like questions, what did we learn? So I'm not gonna go through all of these, but you can kind of get an idea. And then it always has like a taking it further part where you can choose to do this like with your older students. So really it gives you a lot of options if you do not want to do all these different types of projects or worksheets. You don't have to do every single part of it. It's really about what you feel like your student is interested in, what they're gonna connect with. Some of it might be a little bit advanced. Okay, so here in the back, here's an example of the quizzes and it'll say what lessons it covers here. So it has quizzes and a final exam for each section in the book. Here's the answer keys for the worksheets, just to kind of give you an idea, it's pretty simple. So that's what you'll be looking at to check on the worksheet answers. Here's answers for the quizzes right here, and here's the answers for the exams. And then there's an appendices in the back, master supply list if you need it, resource guide, works cited, things back here that you can use to go a little bit further if you want. And I really hope that you enjoyed that because we're looking forward to diving into this. Well, I never did physics, so I wish I would have had this book when I was being homeschooled. For those of you who don't know, I was homeschooled kindergarten through 12th grade. I did not actually do full physics like this. Some of the sciences I did kind of included it, but this is so good and it's actually taught me a lot too, going through it, like hearing certain terminology and I'm like, oh, that's what that means. I finally get it now. I think this is a fun thing to do with your child and kind of learn yourself if you haven't ever learned a lot about that stuff before. And it's also always interesting to learn about the heat and energy inventions 
and technology and just how all that affects our everyday life. So I think you should check this out. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure you check it out there. As always, you can go to Masterbook's website directly and they have tons of great options for science. So just look them up. I hope that your school year is going well so far. And I hope that if in your area it is beginning to be like fall, like it is here where I'm at, that you just can enjoy the outdoors, get outside, just do science projects or, or nature walks just to give yourself a break and sunshine and some cooler weather. If it's been really hot where you're at, it's always nice to have that break. So make sure that you treat yourself to a good hot cup of tea or coffee, take a break, get some sunshine and fresh air, and make sure that you shine bright. Uh -huh.